Okay, hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more AI Somni Files Nirvana initiative. Uh, let's continue with February 11th. So we're down the path where we said we don't know the killer's name because we don't know the killer's name. Ryuki is supposed to be here? You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Mizuki, the time limit within Somnium is six minutes. Damn it. Damn it. Wow, they actually so show voice flashbacks Something now. Something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? What was it? Where's Rachel? I gave myself a blister today. I went walking for exercise, but the sock I was wearing was not appropriate for walking. So I got a blister on the side of my foot. So we have to go interview people now, people who were at the studio when the body showed up. Let's just go to Matsushita Diner first, cause I want to get Ota done and over with, cause I don't like Ota. One good thing about this game, all the lines are voiced. It's like, I loved playing Great Ace Attorney, but ugh, voicing everyone hurt my throat. Ew. Ew. So you're just a random guest, but who's this girl? Man, this sucks. I already talked my jaw off yesterday. That was with the local detective, right? I haven't heard anything yet. Big Sis, perhaps you should help them? Big Sis? Ah, that's just what I call Mizuki. Who are you? Ah, and you're... My name is Kizuna. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Ryuki, right? You were on that quiz show last no night. No one asked you, Ota. Who are you? Are you a student of Seki Baha'i? I am indeed. How did you know? Your uniform? Don't tell me you're a uniform buff, Ryuki. Ota, <laughs> I didn't out. take you for a pervert. You're the only pervert here. Uh... Kizzy is good friends with Iris and Mame too. Oh, you don't know about Mame, do you? Amame doits her full name. She attends Seki Baha'i like Kizzy and Iris. Iris and Mame belong to the same dance club as I. It was through them that I was introduced to Big Sis. It's the, the same dance club as blah, 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 and me. You wouldn't say, oh, whatever. English sucks. You like dancing, huh? Yes, I most certainly do. However, I am not very good at it. That's not true. You've even won a dancing competition before. That was nothing more than a fluke. Iris is a far better dancer. Why do you call Mizuki that? Hmm. This is a bit difficult to explain. I just sensed a certain elegance to Mizuki that was characteristic of an older sister. It... Is that a compliment? Tama, how old is Kizuna? 18, same as Iris. They're in their third year, so they're graduating soon. In other words, Mizuki is a whole six years younger than Kizuna. Hmm. About the incident last night. I was watching that quiz show live as well. Then, goodness, I couldn't believe it. That corpse suddenly appeared on the screen. I couldn't sleep last night from the shock of it all. I was worried about Big Sis and Iris as well. Yeah, you called me a bunch, I remember. You witnessed the corpse with your own eyes, did you not? Are you certain you're... okay? I'm totally fine. Your mental fortitude is admirable. I've been through a lot is all. Yeah, she saw the death of her mom. Kizuna Chieda. Cool. Um... Let's see... Who are you? Man! Excuse me? Maybe you shouldn't talk to that guy. He seems pretty drunk. He's drinking non-alcoholic beer. What do you want, jerk? I was not aware you could get drunk from non-alcoholic beverages. Uh, how are you? 
It's all right now, because I am here. How are you, young boy? <clears throat> yes, he's not doing too good. Your name? Pardon me, but may I ask your name? There's no response. He seems to be depressed. Just a customer, I guess. But he looks so stylized. It's gotta be something special. He's gotta... Yeah, I'm not gonna look around at stuff. Um, let's talk to you. Your name? Are you Mr. Otamatsushita? Oh, you heard of me? Did you talk to Date or something? Yeah, something like that. He's linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. That's how I know his name and age. Ota is 24. One year older than you, Ryuki. Yeah, that's why I'm being polite. To a loser! <laughs> uh, does anyone else work here? Nah. Ota handles the cooking, serving, and accounting all by himself. Oh, he grew up. <laughs> that's right. Tama, are there any legal issues with this? Not at all. His mother, Mayumi Matsushita, holds the proper certification for food hygiene. Mr. Matsushita, can I ask where your mother is? Probably in the living room back there. I guess she's sitting at the Kotatsu watching TV or something. Leave her alone! Matsushita Diner was closed for Man, was a long crazy. time. It recently reopened. They get decent customer traffic and make a pretty good amount of money. Cool. Wait, what was the question? I said it before, but I was watching that stream live. I heard Tessa and Mizuki were gonna be on that show, right? Then that body appeared out of nowhere. Man, I couldn't believe what I saw. Speaking of crazy, that ViewCube video. You saw it? No, not the whole thing. Too scary. I saw the one before, though. The one before? Huh? You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Ah. I know of that one as well. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? Yup. There was some kind of code hidden in it too. Ooh, can we see this video? According to the rumors, whoever deciphers it will learn the secret of the world. Secret of the world? Did a grade schooler come up with that or something? You're a grade schooler yourself, by the way. <laughs> uh, kitchen. No, not the kitchen. Uh, Ota still had one more question to ask him. Oh, about Bats 490. And the video starts with a bunch of bats flying around. Yes, that's where the bats part comes from. I don't know what the 490 means, though. Or, if you reverse bats, it turns into stab. So... Were you able to decode it? No way. I had no idea what it meant. Well, it's not like solving it would have been a big deal. Also, four in Japanese means death. Nine is also an unlucky number, and zero wouldn't it just mean like emptiness and nothing? So the the video message is basically just death. I'll bet that secret of the world stuff is bogus anyway. Don't ruin the fantasy, Mizuki. I'm just telling it like it is. It's just an ARG. It's a game for kids. ARG means alternate reality game. The Game Master releases mysterious information to the public via the internet, leaflets, posters, stuff like that. Players decode the information to discover a location or objective that moves the game forward. Simply put, an ARG is a fusion of games and real life. Do you have a girlfriend? That came out of nowhere. Of course I have one. You do? You met her yesterday, right? Tessa. The girl named Iris Sagan. They're dating? Ota, do you want me to rip your tongue out? <laughs> oh, well, as long as we're on the subject. Are oh, you so going out with anyone, Kizzy? They're not going out. Oh, me? Such relations with gentlemen are completely foreign to me. Are you into baby face guys that know how to cook? Ew. Ugh, no shame. Oh, my type is so stereotypical that I am embarrassed to admit it. Someone like Prince Charming. A prince? I yearn to be a princess. I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. 
Good luck. Glass slipper? What? <laughs> Why did you talk? Ota? Who is that? Well, he's a customer. He comes by a lot. Um, well, in any case, I have a great affinity for shoes. My admiration of Princess Cinderella partially comes from that, I'm sure. Glass slippers. Isn't that so magical? No, it sounds like if the glass shatters, your feet are gone. How lovely it would be to dance in them. Wouldn't it be hard to dance in glass slippers? <laughs> that is true. Brains! Uber Eats for Miss Jelly Toes, one peanut butter and mayo sandwich, extra pickles. Ugh. Golden, are you trying to make me throw off? Also, happy Tuesday, guys. Thanks for joining. Did you get a new nose? You look really pretty. <laughs> I mean, glasses. <laughs> No, everything's the same. I just exercised today. I hate mayo and pickles too. Good, because they're gross. <laughs> Especially pickles. Misaki, uh, shouldn't you be in school? Today is February 11th, National Foundation Day. Oh yeah, it is. So why are you here? Why else? To eat some of Ota's cooking. I brought my friend Kizzy with me. And I appreciate your business. Uh, why were you on the show last night? Iris had an offer to appear on the show. So she was asked to bring another talent from Lemnus Gate, but no one could make it, so I decided to go instead. As the president of Lemnus Gate, I couldn't just turn it down. President? Aren't you 12? <laughs> it's a long story. I ended up taking over the company after Daddy. I saw Mr. Datte earlier. Huh. And? I mean... Mr. Date is like your foster father, so I thought I'd let you know just in case. Foster father? I'm the one taking care of him. I'm paying the rent and utility bills too. Oh. Oh, I know of Mr. Date as well. He is quite close with Iris, so I have the honor of being on friendly terms with him as well. Any clues? Sorry, but I don't know anything. I just went on the show like Iris asked. And then a body showed up out of nowhere. I've heard about Jin Furue, but it's not like I knew him personally. Sorry, I can't really help. Hey, Rip Kizzy, toast. I want to see you dance. Ugh, I do want to get ripped. I want to get buff, but I'm also lazy, and I like eating ice cream and, you know, junk food, so I will never be ripped. Ugh. It's a long story. Lazy toast. I am lazy. Accountability? I mean, I did go walking two miles today, but then I got a blister on my foot, and so I was like, uh, I don't want to work out anymore. My foot hurts. Make each other wake up at 6 a.m. to work out? I should wake up at 6 to go running every morning, but ugh, I hate waking up early. Uh, sucks. Where did this come from? I want to see too. Don't you want to see too, Ryuki? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to see this. Then I'll play some music. Just a sec. Wait, um, I have not agreed to anything yet. Setting my alarm to seven. <laughs> I hate waking up early, set everyone in school ever. Right? School starts way too early. Also, why is she all of a sudden dancing? Oh, Mickey, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Death and gum on my way to the station. The crowd squeezes out my frustration. And now I'm taking heat in the classroom. Oh, well, I'll eat some donuts in the bathroom. Now I hear Ew. my friend got herself a boyfriend. They're going out for barbecue on the weekend. I see all of their smiles in their pics online. Wait, why? What is this song and what is this dance? Is this the new Invincible Rainbow Arrow?
terrible messaging. Her backpack is a heart. A literal heart. Jelly Toast reacts to weirdly dubbed songs. <laughs> My high school started at 7.40 a.m., but we got let out at 2.05. My high school started at 7.15, and we got let out at 2.30. I did not notice that. It's a heart! <laughs> I heard you introducing yourself earlier. My name's Lian, Lian Twining, and I'm 22 years old. My father's American, and my mother's Japanese. So, Hizuna, I want you to marry me. Huh? What? <laughs> you for real, dude? Are you okay? No! I'm not okay! My heart feels like a jackhammer. Like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second! You're joking about the marriage thing, right? Of course this isn't a joke. Izuna's dance purified my heart. There is so much darkness building inside me. But she cleared it all away. It felt like I went straight to heaven. I've always wanted to be a pilot since I was little. It was my dream to fly through the sky. Kizuna made that dream come true for me. What? Seeing her dance, it was like my soul pierced the heavens and flew into the stars. So, I've decided. I'm gonna marry her! No. Won't you marry me, Kizuna? My elementary school was 7.30 to 3.30. Wow. I think elementary school for me was like eight. Yeah, because high school started first and then middle school and then elementary because that that's how the buses would pick up the kids. So elementary started at around like... Yeah, because middle school started at 7.55. So elementary, I think, started at 8.15, 8.20. Jelly is making the most amazing reaction faces right now. Stranger danger, I need an adult. Well, Ryuki and Ota are here, so, you know, Ryuki can intimidate him. No, thank you. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. No, creep? I'll pretend I didn't hear that either. This is creep behavior. If a girl says no, it's just no. No, thank you. Anyway, I won't give up. You'll come around eventually, Kizuna. My motto is, if at first you don't succeed, try and fail again! I think you mean try, try again. Why are you here? Actually, I got fired yesterday. I didn't feel like doing anything after I woke up this morning. I came here so I could drink my problems away. But you were drinking non-alcoholic beer. I can still get drunk off of them, okay? What job did you get fired from? I was a bank. Work. What were you really? I don't like talking about it, but I was a janitor. I think that is a noble job. No shame in being a janitor. You're so right! But unfortunately, my job was taken from me. And I have zero motivation to do anything now. Hard work just seems so pointless. You're a loser. <laughs> I dislike people who don't work hard. Alright. I'm hitting up the employment office tomorrow! This guy has a rather one-track mind. He doesn't seem all that bad, though. Doesn't seem all that bad, but he definitely needs to grow up. What no. the heck? Yeah, I just acknowledge Ota as an adult. Because he is 24 years old, isn't he? So technically he is an adult, but, you know, I still don't like him. My middle school was 815 to 250 or something. Uh, no means no. My motto is, if at first you don't succeed, lower thy expectations. <laughs> hesitation this va is great the va cool it's great it actually feels very um natural so i don't mind the dub it's very good we haven't obtained much useful information there's no point in staying here for too long yeah let's go somewhere else whoa what's this Eyeballies, the Q&A nurture game Eyeballies. Every 20 minutes, Eyeballies will ask you a question. The more you answer, the more they grow. If an Eyeballie becomes an adult, as a result, you will get many eyeballs as a reward. Cool! 
Get notification when character asks a question? Yes. Turn eyeballies quantum quantum notification on? Okay. Can you answer more questions so I can become an adulty? Yeah. Which one do you want? Um, I want five quadrillion yen. I want money. That's whoa! It's cut off. That's sixteen times the national budget of Japan. -y. Thinking of next question. We'll wait nineteen minutes fifty-seven seconds. Oh. Options. Oh, so depending on how I answer, it'll evolve into something different. Okay. How come? Wait, is my screen off? No. What the heck? How come just the eyeball screen is like too much to the left? That's weird. I think, uh, wait, wait, wait. You haven't heard Pro ZD yet, I think. You'll know when you hear him. Oh! He's in this game? That's so cool! Not friends, Jelly doesn't like us. What? What do you mean? I think your gameplay feed might be improperly cropped. There's black bars around the game feed. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Menu. Uh, is there options? Options to calibrate the screen? EGM volume. Hmm. Maybe a Windows update messed yours up? It wouldn't be a Windows update though because it would just be my monitor. Wait, hold up. Uh, let's see... Uh... Setting... Ah, no! Go back, go back. Go back, uh... Ah! No! Input. Input. Uh, I switched off of my game screen. Um... Game mode? No. Uh, go back. Go back, go back. Go back, go back. I don't go back. No! Um, settings, settings. Go, let's see, game adjust, picture, picture adjusts. Brightness, contrast, sharpness, color temps, uh, picture reset, no. Oh, input. Aspect ratio? Four by three. Nope, that's so wrong. Yeah. Um... Oof. Settings picture in your PS4 home screen? Okay. Uh, settings... Oh, my PS4 did get it updated. Whoops. Um, let's see. Where would it be? Uh, devices, network. Rental controls, devices, storage, themes, sound and screen? Uh, display area settings. Ha ha! Yes. Okay. Okay, so now if I go back to... Wait a minute. Ah! So, sorry. Um, menu. I go back to eyebally. Will it still get chopped off? It still gets chopped off! Eyebally just gets chopped off. That's so weird. Okay, well. I need to restart game after that. Uh not gonna do that now. It'll just get chopped off. Cause everything else like stays on the screen, so. Okay, Seki Bahai. We're gonna talk to Iris. Sorry about that little hiccup. Your last name was on home screen, do I though? It matters because there are like a million Koreans with your last name. Exactly. You look up my name on the internet, you see like a bajillion people before me, so... <laughs> You'll never find me. Hey, it's Mermaid Girl! Iris. How are you feeling? Still upset about last night? I'm okay. I recover pretty quick from these things. See? I'm bouncing right back! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny! 
Ryuki, would you mind hitting her with a German suplex? Later. <laughs> By the way, wow, Tama friend. does not like her. And that's Mame. She's one of my best friends. Nice to meet you. My name is Amame Doi. I'm a third year at Sekiba High, and I'm in the same dance club as Iris. Are they going to dance too? I'm a super hyper cutie miracle beauty. Ryuki, I think we should leave. Uh, hold on. So you're the one I heard about. Mizuki and Kizuna told me about you earlier. Huh. You just pictured me in a leotard, didn't you? No. Uh, no? Help! It's a pervert! Somebody call the police! You're so weird! I am the police. Oh, come to think of it, you were on the quiz show last night, weren't you? Your name started with an R, I think. Yeah. Mr. Rero 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 Taro, was it? What? It's Ryuki! I see. Mr. Ryuki Rero Taro. You're not cute. <laughs> okay, let's talk to you and get it over with. Uh, what's your career path going to be after graduation? You could say I'm a part-timer. It's just me and my mom back home, so money's tight. I don't have time to go to college or a specialty school. But mommy is so smart! She always has the best grades, even though she doesn't go to class much. I've been busy with my part-time job and dance practice. Where do you work? I work as a mermaid at a gaudy maid cafe called Sunfish Pocket. Mermaids are what they call the maids that work there. Then stop dancing so much. They wear these cute mermaid outfits as they serve the customers? Now I know because I used to work at Sunfish Pocket a long time ago. Mommy works there at night after dance practice. How late do you work? Don't tell anyone, but until about 11. Even when you were 17? Yes, ever since I was 16. That's a violation of Article 61 of the Labor Standards Act. Though, it would be the employer who would be penalized. I lied to the manager about my age. So according to my profile, I'm 20 years old right now. That's a bit... I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please don't arrest me! My family's poor, so I need to keep working. Uh, about the incident last night. I know about the incident. I was watching the live stream of that quiz show. X-ray? Whoa! A mommy turned into a skeleton! It's an X-ray! Why would there be an X-ray option for her? About Jin Furue. I don't think there's anyone from our generation that doesn't know who he is. He's famous for having a sharp tongue. He used to write a bunch of completely lame articles and critiques online. He used to start up stupid internet drama crap on two Twitter, too. Mommy has a pretty sharp tongue herself. His main job was being the CEO of Music Food. I guess that's like the president of the company? I think I read an article online that said he started the business when he was 22. But his history before then is shrouded in mystery. And no one knows anything about his childhood, right? Yeah. He was a pretty mysterious figure. Anyway, the girl does have some nice femurs. Femurs? I'd love to get inside those for a taste of the marrow. What is wrong with you? What the heck, Tama? I can see a mama skeleton. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to see if there was a, um, a trophy that popped up. Is class over? Don't you know today is February 11th? National it was weird to see her have this many lines after the first game. Yeah, I'm surprised that she's here too. Oh, right. Then why are you at school? Well, how do I put this? I just felt compelled. I can only wear this uniform and attend this school for about another month or so. So I invited Mommy, and we just kind of ended up here. Iris and Mommy are third years. They'll be graduating soon. Uh, why were you on the show last night? Hmm? Mizuki didn't tell you? She did, but I want to double check, just in case. The agency I belong to, Lemon Escape, received a request for me to appear. They wanted me and one more person to participate as a pair. But we couldn't find anyone with an opening in their schedule. And that's why Mizuki ended up going instead. German suplex. Clickety-clack. 
clickety clack. I boiled a potato and my socks in a sack. What? Mr. Ryuki, are you okay? The F is that for? New Folk Anthem? The song Ryuki was singing was German soup socks, I think. What? About the incident last night. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. It did feel like some sort of paranormal phenomenon, though. Paranormal? Like I mentioned last night, maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that split the body in two. Speaking of which, there are rumors that people who watched that video and disappeared could have also been swallowed into another dimension. People disappeared? Iris is sitting on a chair. Leering at an 18 year old. That's a bit creepy, don't you think? I was not leering. What's this about being swallowed into another dimension? That QR code video. A similar video went viral about half a year ago. The Bats 490 video. Supposedly people who saw it suddenly vanished. Bats 490. Kizuna mentioned the same thing. So, they say those who went missing were taken into another dimension. Did you also see Bats 490? Yes, so did I. But you two haven't disappeared. That's because we haven't decoded it. There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. You have to go there to get taken into another dimension. Yes, because they kill you. <laughs> and the people who decrypted the code all said the same thing before vanishing. I've learned the secret of the world. But no one knows what that secret is. What up, Regal? How you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday. Oh, the freak! I told you to wait for me at the gate, didn't I? Yeah, but I got here a bit early. His name is Gen Ishiagane. He's the owner of the oh, fusion yeah. restaurant Brahman in Golden Yokocho. Though, I'm sure you already know that. Yeah, I've been there many times. But why is Gen here? Now I want some curry. Huh, if it isn't Mr. Ryuki. Is this Pro ZD? Oh my gosh! This is Pro ZD! Yellow, hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday! Are you here to investigate that case by any chance? Yes. I was talking to Iris about it. I also watched the quiz show last night. Several people I know were on it. That's so crazy! Why are you here? I drove here to pick up Amame and Iris. I need them to help out at work tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, Genny. Something came up. Uh, oh, I see. I'm free, though. I can still help. That'd be great. You two are close with Gen, huh? Yeah. We're just a big ol' happy threesome. Don't use that term in front of other people. That was a weird way to phrase it. Omame visited Brahmin a lot, even back when it was in Yotsuya. Once it moved to Golden Yokocho, I took Iris there. You've been to Brahmin too, Mr. Ryuki? Of course. I've been there several times. Mr. Date took me there. Mr. Date? So you must know Mr. Date too, Genny. Now I just ruined Gen's voice for you. You can no longer unhear Prozidi. Just like I couldn't unhear Prozidi. What are you thinking of? What else could Theresa mean? You stop, stop putting me on the spot. <laughs> I've known him for a long time. We're so close. We've seen each other's buttholes. I need to save the screenshot. Ah. <laughs> wow, what a small world. Is she really going to ignore the butt part? <laughs> ah. I don't know if I'm really close to anyone to like see their butthole. <laughs> are you able to get in easily? Oh, are you asking because I'm wearing this mask? It was fine. The security for this school is practically non-existent. There are tons of places on the grounds without any fences or security cameras. So you didn't walk in through the front gate? I couldn't have dressed like this. A guard would have stopped me. Why are you dressed like this? 
There's a reason he always wears a mask. He would scare people if he took it off. I haven't seen him without his mask myself, but that's what he said. Supposedly, it's something he was born with. He got called a monster when he was a kid. Oh no! I want to see what he looks like now! Michelin Man? I don't know what he is, but he's got a very cute unicorn on his pants. I'd like to try Mr. Gen's cooking. You're more than welcome to visit anytime. Genny's cooking is amazing. Everything he makes is so good. My tongue could fall right off. Personally, I think his place and Matsushita Diner are competing for the number one spot. Come on now, don't compare my restaurant with a place like that. The cooking there was superb when Takiro was still the man behind the chef's knife. But now it's his son Ota running things. He doesn't know the first thing about cooking. These dishes are missing the most important condiment. Love. Well, I think we got enough info here for now. Pasta check. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the hugs. Ryuki, want to get going? Ugh. Sounds good. It's a blackboard. Whoops. Man, my shoulders and arms have felt like really sore. Like, I don't know. I don't think I've done anything too strenuous, but like, it just feels awkward to like raise my arms. Like, I can do it, but it just, it just feels so sore all the way down to my elbow. Wait, you're the director of that quiz show, Chimpe? You got a problem with that? No, but I told you he got out. He's making an honest living as a civilian these days. Ain't that right? That's right, boss. Stop calling me that. You're not a member of the gang anymore. Let's talk to boss. Moma. About the case. I'm pissed about the case, too. That co-appearance was like a dream come true. And the whole show was ruined. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard responsible. A dream come true? The boss and Tessa got to... Shut it! Shut it! Anyway, I'd love to help you with your investigation and all, but unfortunately, I don't have any info that might be useful to you. Do you have any leads at all? I don't know what to tell you. Did you see any suspicious people hanging around the studio, for example? Suspicious people? Hmm. Well, I guess the only one who comes to mind is Kameji. Kameji? You mean... Yeah, Andy's Kameji, the host. Why would he be suspicious? Connection to the uh, okay. I'm not talking about our group, of course. It's just something I heard at a meeting with the street bosses. Word is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Though that might not have anything to do with last night. Uh, why were you on the show last night? Ask Chimpei about that. He knows all about it. Did Chimpei's resignation go smoothly? Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. Sounds like an oxymoron. Like a vegan zombie. Okay, Chimpei. About why you left the group. My girl is a baby on the way right now. So we decided to get married. But her parents wouldn't approve of it. Rip Date. Date's still alive! I think. Well, right now in the past he is. Said they wouldn't let me have their daughter unless I got out of the business. I agonized over the decision. So much that I could only eat two slices of pizza instead of the usual three. But a man has to do what a man has to do, right? So I made up my mind to talk to the boss about it. But before I could... Oh, I get it. Then I'll try asking him for you. And MoMA listened to Iris. Wh what? I didn't have any ulterior motives, so don't get it twisted. Sure. Why did you become the director for the show? I actually used to attend the vocational school to learn about film. I wanted to be a porn director. Cool. I used the connections I got there to reach out to a production company for online shows. And I was promoted to director right away. Supposedly, the last director ran away, so they really needed me to take his place. Uh, why was the director one of the contestants? We didn't have enough people. The quiz show needed three teams of two to answer questions. We tried hard, but couldn't get together that last team. 
I had no choice but to participate myself, so I invited the boss to go with me. And MoMA agreed to participate? Well, you know, it was a request from one of my precious underlings, after all. I convinced him by saying Tessa would be there, too. Then he agreed right away. Um, uh, why did you come back after leaving the group? I came to say thanks to the boss for yesterday. I was thinking of going to Akiba. This place is on the way. Why Akiba? Well, um, I need to stop by a maid. We are always living in the past. What's the story so far? Um, we were on a quiz show, but then half of someone's body just dropped. And then we flashed forward to the present for, um, six years later. And Mizuki found the other half of the body that just dropped in the middle of a soccer field. But the time of death for each half of the body is different. So we're just like, what the heck is going on? And we're trying to... I just started, so that's all that happened. I'm trying to beat Zero Time Dilemma, but it's so hard without a guide. Really? I don't think I used a guide for Zero Time Dilemma. I just played through every single route as soon as possible. I could not put that game down. It's so good. No, wait. No, Zero Time Dilemma is hard. Virtue's Last Reward. That one, I didn't need a guide. But Zero Time Dilemma, I'm just like, the questions make no sense sometimes. So I'm just like, what are you talking about? I don't know if I'm an idiot or so super convoluted. It's super convoluted. I thought you were talking about Virtue's Last Reward. Virtue's Last Reward, no problem. Zero Time Dilemma, a mess. Right now we're hearing about Yuki's investigation from six years ago, which he's telling Mizuki about. Oh yes, he's telling Mizuki all this. Maid Cafe? Yeah, it's called Sunfish Pocket. My girlfriend works there. Ooh! Wait, 20 minutes passed? What do you think of eyeballs? Uh, they're round. <laughs> Triangle is scary. Okay. Uh, about the case. Sorry, but I haven't found anything that might be a lead. Uh... Virtue's last reward? I don't feel like it's convoluted. It's just like, wait, it's a new situation that we're dumped in, and then at the end you're just like, bah! But Zero Time Dilemma, I feel like did not do a good job wrapping everything up. I'm sorry, that game was disappointment. I think I used a guide once in Zero Time Dilemma. Yeah. Virtue's last reward still Oh yeah, Virtue's last reward has a lot. But it's like all fresh new information, so it was still exciting to absorb everything. And then Zero Time Dilemma should have wrapped everything up in 999 and Virtue's last reward nice and neatly, but it did not. <laughs> Zero Time Dilemma was fun to watch people uh run the air because of the low budget <sighs> i have to use a guide in every room in zero time dilemma really really i don't think i had to use it in every room but i just remember some of their questions like oh like particularly one conversation where they're like oh who is this person and i'm like it's this kid and they're like no, it's not. Nah, guess again. And I'm just like, what the heck are you talking about? And then after you got the right answer and you looked up the updated profile, they're just like, hmm. -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to say who is what I want you to experience it for yourself. But I was just so mad at them. And I was just like, this is stupid. You should have answered dog GAB for who is the killer because there's actually dialogue for that. I do not remember that. What about the rest of the staff? They'll probably tell you the same thing. The detectives from HQ have already questioned the rest of the staff. Their report is uploaded on the database. Zero clues. There isn't any information that could help us at all. What about the other contestants? That show was supposed to run for six hours straight from six to midnight. But it wasn't the same contestants the whole time. They were supposed to swap er every hour. Our appearance was slated for 9 p.m. I wouldn't know anything about the others. I already turned in the list of contestants to the cops. Why don't you try hitting them up one by one? 
The other detectives already took care of that a while back. No clues there, either. There haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals. Hmm. Kameji has connections with the Yakuza. I was actually stuck there because I didn't realize. I just had to let the timer out. See, some of the things is just like, what are you supposed to do? And it's stupid. Could it be true? Let's figure that out later. You need to gather intel for now. Got it. Then let's go somewhere else. Uh, Misatan Department Store. Who's here? There's going to be a murder here. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, Death tub. Which is butthead backwards. And I'm thinking, death tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized, when you see death tub in the mirror, God of energy, inti, inti, pachaka max! What? <laughs> Another story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school and a rather heavy set vice principal told me Your Shoma called me a pig of all things. I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, Okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore, but it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? God of energy, inti, inti, pachaka max! What? <laughs> uh, if you want to know where I am, I just got to the transporter room as C team. I don't remember where in the flowchart that is. Uh, that voice actor, I wonder. Yeah, the voice actor sounds familiar. Like, who is it? This sounds like music Pennywise makes you listen to before he kills you. I have not watched it. I do not want to watch it. Slight spoilers for ZTD, but I want to say something. Do it! I'm going to guess that was a lot better in Japanese. Or I'm just gonna guess it's still lame in Japanese. <laughs> There's no um, one up here. Are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what if happened. If you say Sean for who killed the character, he says, so it was you. And I was like, how do you know his name is Sean? Um. Uh. Oh, there was a thing. The, the, oh, man. Yeah, see, the way they logic things in Zero Time Dilemma is so weird. Are you calling Tamai lame? Yes, he is. It chapter one is pretty good. Chapter two sucked. Oof. I just, I don't like horror, so I will not do it. The guy holding the shotgun, remember? No, I do not. <laughs> yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You'd prefer someplace quieter, right? Forgetful toast. I played Zero Time Dilemma. Years ago. Years ago. When it came out. When did it come out?
Wait, the Ferris wheel? Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. Uh, uh, why did you host the quiz show? You know I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. It's just a small inconsistency I noticed. Oh, okay. I played Zero Time Dilemma on 3DS. It was a poor life choice. This guy looks like the villain from Phoenix Wright in the first K-suit and everything. You're right! It does look like that guy! Except his head is a cube. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Adored wherever I went, everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. And after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. It was not funny. Uh, why did you host a quiz show? Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my quiz key. Our brains take like 0. 0.00006 seconds to process info we are seeing, so we are always living in the past. What? Too much thinking for me. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. Uh, why a Ferris wheel? I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Plane propellers, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. Why would you want the bed to spin? There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. Why? How do you know that? Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. That just sounds so dangerous. Well, the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. <sighs> My boy is just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. <laughs> you got a point there. Speaking of Ferris wheels, there's a theme park somewhere inside an abandoned salt mine. There's a fully underground Ferris wheel there. What the heck? That's... Whoa. No innuendo at all. Yup. Austin Powers on a rotating bed. No, but seriously, rotating bed, like, if you're, like, switching... If you're moving around on top, like, that just seems dangerous. Like, what if you're just like, whoops, I miscalculated because the bed's turning. Why would you want it to turn? Like, wouldn't you get dizzy? I feel like I would just throw up. Ew. I love roller coasters, so I look up a lot of theme parks. I love roller coasters, too. About Shulma. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. Was it a divorce? I forgot to stretch after walking and now my yeah. legs hurt. Ow! She got sick of me and left the house. Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? <laughs> what? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's complete nonsense. I'm just an ordinary comedian. Then why do you look so freaked out? Well, even if it was true, he wouldn't just admit it. Your clothes. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh... I wasn't. Whoa, he wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. About last night's incident. I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened. You're moving around a toxic situation. What if you're already sick? 
Yeah, if you're already sick and you're on top of a rotating bed, it's just like GG, game over. Cramped toast. I know, my. I have cramp. Ah, cramp in my leg! Your wife divorces you on your honeymoon because you insisted on a rotating bed. <laughs> the Matt Smith doctor made bow ties cool. He did. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. It smells like alcohol. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Is he drunk? Komeichi's blood alcohol level is 0.12%, the early stages of inebriation. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. Hmm. My favorite game is still the first game. I don't know why, but Seven and everyone else constantly telling me about random stuff was a lot of fun. Mm hmm. I mean, they got a good cast in 999. I just, I just really, I just thought Virtue's Last Reward just upped everything. Like, made Sorry, everything from 999 a lot better. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. But then I heard in the, um, the updated version of 999, like, you can basically, um, whatchamacallit, you can just skip around in the flowchart. Hello, little girl. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the little... Nope, guess I can't talk to her. Whoa! Okay, they're just like random blob people. Okay, creepy. Um, Abyss. But yeah, you don't have to replay through every single thing from the beginning. You can just skip around to like where you want to go to on the flowchart for different branching paths. So that seems nice. Oh, do you know about the gigantic? Oh, do you know uh, about the mouse stuck in a maze? Oh, do you know about You're cheese? You're going back to abyss? Oh, do you know about this mummy? <laughs> yeah, I want to reorganize the information I have so far. You're telling me you don't know what the Funyarim buzz? Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Whoa, I'm driving around in a limo? I'm fancy. Lady. Scream like a girl. Shut up! Stop shouting! <laughs> but you surprised me. <laughs> I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. Uh, uh. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Uh, what do you think of this car? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. It makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Oh. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. Younger brother? But six years ago, he also. What? <gasps> no. About the reason Jin's right half suddenly appeared. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said. For some, for some reason, reason, just the right half. Like it traveled through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed in some other dimension. And that split the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. No, just for some reason it's stuck in my head. Organize information. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the ViewCube video in that QR code link. 
apologize to the Funyarim by this instance. <laughs> Fancy toast. OMG, I love them. L you love who? <clears throat> by the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. We all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere yes, on the Yes, finally. Internet? I want to see this video. I looked it up. Here it is. Yeah! That spike was gonna go up his butt! Rip me, burn me? Four? The freak? Mm. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. More eyeballing! The red pill or the blue pill? That's the secret. Whoa! What? What did you think deep learning was? Name of a special skill? What's that, E? Okay. Uh, age, infant, name, Iba E. Brave four plus three. So I have brave four, loving two, impish four, crazy two. Okay. Not very loving. I became a childy. Tell me more E. Cool. Has it really been 20 minutes? Is this like 20 real life minutes? Wait, I got an updated performance review? It takes forever to load! Class up! C2! Mizuki outfit, Ryuki outfit, cat ears! Yo, 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 uh, okay, uh, Tama's room. Tama! Time to play dress up. Now, undress. Uh, dress up. Uh, wear... uh, wait, I thought I unlocked it. What? Body? You don't have any costume. What? Outfit. What? I thought I unlocked it. Boo. Oh, then reset. Okay, give me life advice. It's that thing, Tama. What is it again? Oh, uh, it's that thing, Tama. What is it again? How am I supposed to know? The only thing I know is yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> life advice. Worried about money? That's right. Yes. Not enough money? Mmm... I don't really use it right away, but I can't really save too much. I want to be able to save more. My income is not that low. I'm making the most money I've ever made. I can make a stew out of money. I'll just say I can't save it. <laughs> I can understand. I have something good for you. 
You want to invest in a cassava farm. It's fine, you'll make your money back. If you're interested, this is my bank information. And I will take all your money now. <laughs> oh, if you played Three Hopes, Prosody also voices Holst or Hilda's brother. <gasps> I have not played Three Hopes. I haven't been really interested in it. This wasn't very clear to me either. I might have to check bonus menu from the main menu. Ah, oh, that's stupid. I'll do that later then. I suppose it doesn't suit you. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, where did Bats 490 come from? Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Incoming Ryuki, call. You have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. He might know something, so I was. Shoma! Anyway, see ya! It's it's the dude's kid, is it not? Shoma. Isn't that? Andy's Komeji's. Now we get to see what the kid looks like. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> that is an interesting bird back there. Whoa, picture. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. You laugh more often than you breathe. Is this a puppet for the quiz? It's a toy robot. I want to check out that bird. Weird plush. It's at a rooster. At a rooster? It's a character. It's an at a rooster doll. Okay. If you say so. Uh Oh, a picture. Can't okay, can't look at the picture. Mmm, okay. Shoma. About your father. Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? What are you making? What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. About Mizuki. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki. She's actually the one who told me about you. Why did you let me in your house if you're not gonna talk to me? About the Bats 490 code. You know about the video called Bats 490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? He's completely ignoring you. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. What kind of metaphor is that? You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. Wow. Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. Uh... It's no use talking to him, I think. You'll have to find the key to his chastity belt first. Ding. Buzzer. Yes, Shoma. What is your answer? Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> Open the chastity belt and you'll get to see the inside of his mouth. <laughs> Why 
Why don't you smack Shoma on the head with the folding fan? I don't think he'd ever speak to me. Why don't you hit your own head with the hammer toy? Wow, what a jolly guy he is. I'm gonna tell him everything I know now. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I still can't examine that picture. Uh... No. That robot is so cool. Okay. Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? Nope. Picture doesn't seem to be the key. Poem? Poem probably isn't the key. Family altar? God, please help. You can help yourself. Uh, TV? Do you want to watch TV together? Uh, TV stand? Uh, toolbox? Dresser? Closet? X-ray? What is that? Oh! It looks like a robot. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? Oh, that's what- that's all it was? I had to x-ray the robot? Hey, Shoma. Would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Huh? How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... Tell him you heard it from Komeiji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeiji. From my dad? That's right. Okay then, just for a bit, okay? Whoa, it works. You made that? Yeah, I call it Robata. All by yourself? Uh huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine-tuning it is really hard. Yo, that's cool. A robot. <gasps> a compliment. Like, strongly. Wait, just compliment. That's incredible. I'm impressed that you made it all by yourself. Because <laughs> we don't want to overdo it. Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. Um, about your father. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. But sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? Well, because... He has a square head. Why does it matter? Uh, about Mizuki. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no, of course not. Even though she's cute? That Ugo? She's not cute at all. She's super cute, excuse you. His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. My dad's a square, literally. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Huh? Hmm? The bat's 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? Oh no, but there were other conversation topics I wanted to talk about, whoops. I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. Yeah, that doesn't sound shady at all. Oh my gosh, why does... I heard about it last night on the news. Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. This guy has an interesting head shape too. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. My dad is Minecraft Steve. <laughs> uh, we didn't see Shoma talk about the Uggo. You didn't? Oh, well, he calls Mizuki Uggo and he's like, I don't want to talk to her more. But then 
um, Tama is like, nope, he's lying. His temperature is rising. And then I didn't get to um, pick any other conversation topics after that. He's just like, well, I gotta go. Here's here's what you need to know. And so now we're at wherever the um, video location told us to go, the Horadori Genetics Lab. Um, what is a statue? Excuse me. What is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It would take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. Or just be like, yo, it's a dude holding a snake or something. A researcher wearing the typical protective garb. Okay, a biopod. It looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, let's just talk to the dude. About Jin. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. That was a creepy face, though. Uh, about this institute. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. I didn't understand that at all. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call PERT. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, for example, severe congenital heart diseases, are now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using PERT, even immortality is achievable. How? Immortality? Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. But how is that possible? Because aging is due to your cells not, um reproducing quickly enough anymore. So what would rewriting your DNA have to do with cells? What? They're actually doing that right now? Eerie? Oh, I didn't know that. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. So did they create that video to get live test subjects to test this hypothesis? The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for, for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. I would hate to live forever. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? No. Like, you only want to live forever if you have a lot of money, like, good friends and family around you. You don't have a lot of stress. But, you know, if you're just a normal, everyday, average Joe, or, you know, even someone in, in a more unfortunate situation, you don't want to live forever, because then you're just stuck in that situation for the rest of your life. That sucks. <laughs> what were you doing around 6 a.m. on the 9th? Jin's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. Good for you. Your dream came true. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Shikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. Hmm, shady. About the QR video. Ah, uh, it was mentioned on the news. But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. 
I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. But Jelly, you're special. Hey, All of you are special too, but I don't want to live on this world more than I have to. I went to another friend's stream and they loved your emotes. Yes, finally, emote success. After how many times did I change my emotes? I finally landed on a good design. Oh, try and try again. You think so? You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. Mobile games can be fun. Most of the time, though, they take you to a page to try to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising fraud. Oops, no, I want Shikara. Thermo. Huh. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? In a perfect world where no one suffered, living forever wouldn't be bad because we'd have each other and family and etc. Mm hmm, mm hmm. If this world didn't suck, it wouldn't be terrible living, you know, longer than normal. But this world does suck. So I will just take my place here now, and then when I die, someone else can take my place in life after. Life goes on. Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wink sink. I'm not sad toast at all. Like, death is a natural part of life. It's just I don't want to go too early or due to unnatural causes. I would like to live as long as I possibly can. Choose wink sink clothes. Wink sink. Time remaining. The six minutes already started? Wink sync is a simplified version of sinking, where you're still taking a look inside your dreams. And dreams are made from memories. So he does know the Bats so 490 video. There should be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying... Chikara knows about Bats 490. He was lying to us earlier. Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? Wing sync is a simpler version of sinking from the eyeball, me, a strong man, blah, 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 brain puts her brain into a full sleep. And now he's the faint brain waves. You can see parts of the dream. It's not a clear image. Regular sync needs to perform. Wing sync can only be performed once a day because of the high amount of pyro required. I would need to recharge before performing it again. I don't like it because of the power consumption. Okay. What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. Very well. I'll go with you. Thanks for the hug, Smooth! I'm so confused with ZTD. Yep, it is confusing. And even in the ending, it will stay, stay confusing. And it won't... Mm, that's it. That's all I'm saying. Eyeball. How hard do you like your ramen? I like it softish. I like the hard ones -y. I like mine soft and chewy. Boss. Any progress on the investigation? There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. Wait, Kizuna kind of looks like Boss. About Chikara. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher-ups will take care of it for me. Where's Mr. Date? Who knows? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing. I the thought they were a part of like a thing, and it was hijacked by Zero. But it looks like it's something right plotted now. by Zero.
I will not say anything to that. He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. No, he's taking a load off, all right. What? <laughs> Wait. Boss, her real name is Shizue Kurenushi. I don't remember what... What?! The nipple game is a game in which a man asks a woman to guess where their nipple is while their shirt is on? Even if it's a guy asking a girl to do it, it's kind of problematic. Why did nipple game pop up? What? Pewter, about Chikara. I got Tama's report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video. Which has a striking similarity. He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. Why are you here? Hmm? Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. Yeah, but... I've been wondering about something. In November of last year... You were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? You leaked internal police information, not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. Dang, boss. I am truly grateful to you, boss. No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it. I know about... Mm, a dozen. I'm counting on you. This is kind of scary. Uh, you get used to it. <laughs> No, I still have to talk to you about one more thing. In any case, no! shall we get started? I still have one more thing! Ryuki, you know what to do. Feck. Sync with him. Alright, sync number two. What? What? Just found out who Zero is? Ah! Yep, 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 yep. This game is burning my virgin ears. <laughs> this game is not meant for children. Ryuki, this isn't your first time sinking. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. So, I'm sure you know without me telling you, but... I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. It's all right. I know. Okay, then. Let's begin. I really want some Indian food now. Oh, But it's too late to order. Ugh. I just only eat cheese puffs for dinner. <laughs> All right, we're inside the lab. Tama, are you not wearing any pants? What? It's a whip? What is this place? It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? Hey, did you see someone just now? Looks suspicious. Why don't we ask Ugh. that person there about it? Who? You must have a lot of- It's questions. a half-body! What happened to your other half? Not really. <gasps> and the right half is on the other side. Must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough too. You really want me to ask about that stuff? Yeah, do it. But hey, isn't benching kinda hard? 
Hey, why are you talking to a statue? Damn it, Ryuki. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> I can only be in Somnium for six minutes. Oh. Oh, well, but he's here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is getting out of hand. That's Chikara. Tama, follow him. Well, on this side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. The very layout of this facility itself, mimicking my brain, will serve as inspiration for my masterpiece. What's going on here? I need to be careful. I can't get too close. Now, this. Bionic Body's Accidental Biology. The Bionic Body Creation Program. Bio what? BBAB. The logical center of the left brain and the creative center of the right. By combining them, I can create a superhuman. So Jin's body wasn't cut in half. It, it was created by this dude. Left half six years ago. I mean, right half six years ago. Left half now? Yo, that says death on the last character. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. No, oh, he ran off. Chikara in this dream world is just as bonkers as he Ooh. is in real life. Cheesy toast. It's only 8.34 for you, isn't it? No Indian places open? Um, I mean, there are, but by the time I'm just like, hey, order it, deliver it, eat it. It's going to be so late. And I don't like eating late at night. It makes me feel gross. Looks like he doesn't want anyone in this room. Yeah, you can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? They're an embodiment of a sink subject's caution. When you try to access information that the sink E is trying to hide, it overstimulates the synapse. That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine, which creates a conscious antibody within the somnium. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? If I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Touch him and our available time insomnium drops like crazy. Got it. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? Well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move instant death power stance man? I'm sorry, instant death power stance man? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. Anyway, let's check the device first. Looks like so am I not that. going through the Somnium? Is this, are they just doing it for me because it's story related? Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's go. Somnium scan! No! Activate. I do it myself! <laughs> I was like, wow, they're doing everything for me! Nope. How many locks do you have? Okay, four locks, not too bad. Uncover the secret Chikara is hiding. There's no doubt Chikara is hiding something. Open the door to expose what he is hiding. <laughs> You don't say. The lock okay. on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? On a stone statue? This is Chikara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. Anyway, that door. Let's head past it to the stone statue. So I guess that's where I'm going first. Use the blank, join the blank, create a blank. First of all, just making sure there's no hidden eyeballs. Don't want to examine the computer yet. Let's just do the door. Move. This door is open. Is this even a door? It's so thin. That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Oh, feet. Nice. Gonna have to look at the doujinshi for this later. Oh. Is there even doujinshi of this? I mean, probably We're because here. Tama is pretty, you know, good looking. 
That's the stone statue without power. Let's get closer and check it. They have used a machine in the center, joined the two stone, stone statues, and create a transcendental superhuman. Ten eyeballs gained. Activate. Off and on. Is this the switch for the statue? How do we turn this on? Hmm. Why don't you feel around that area? <laughs> the crotch! <laughs> what area? Whatever feels right, Tama. She really had to just feel the up his crotch. Arm control PC has been activated. <laughs> okay. That was the easiest lock to unlock. Activate right front temporal lobe statue. Okay, so this is saying it has power now. You're amazing, Tama. It says, not available, stone statue activated. Wait, so is it on or off? Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. Right. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues. But let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? How did you know? <laughs> let's go back to the device. Oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. Blank, human, your powers. You can blank to blank if you wanted to. Hmm. Uh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So I'm guessing we can't go there. So let's just go back this way. We can go through here. Let's go. Although choosing the other door would have gotten me um, another option to give me more eyeballs. Where was the other statue? Let's see, map. Um, this shows me nothing! Uh, so if I go that way, okay, let's just go to the machine first. That's what she said. Feely toast. Hey, I wasn't the one feeling him up. Activating. In this experiment, you can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain. What if function. Jin Furue was never a real person? He was just a being created from Chikara's lab. But then Chikara was like, let's try combining this thing with this thing. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Chikara did. What can we choose from? Left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and A. Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. We can combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seems like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. Jelly's just, that's what she said without joking. She's losing her touch. Uh, I'm, I'm so into trying to solve this. I'm just like, Rrr. is that why the guy wears a mask, Michelin Man? That's what, oh, good thing to point out, smooth. Hmm. So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. And you select that power on this? Oh, I remember seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yeah, it was too high, so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll help you get up there. Worth a shot. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance. What do you choose, Ryuki? Uh, why would it be fisherman? I'd say Maasai warrior? Please select right brain function. Uh, astronaut, astronaut. Left, Maasai warrior. Right, astronaut selected. Starting experiment. Experiment.
experiment successful. Just like I expected. Combined, a Maasai warrior's leg strength and the atmosphere-piercing power of an astronaut to nice. gain superhuman leg strength. Tama, you okay? I have goosebumps. It said you gained superhuman leg strength. I want superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. That might be it. Let's give it a shot. This door isn't locked. Okay. <laughs> I don't think astronauts have that ability. I just thought, you know, like flight suit. They defy Let's gravity, go. but okay. Okay, ready. Superhuman leg strength in bed. <laughs> Would that be help? Panda shot. The experiment worked. Oh. Captain Chikara, Chikara Horatori has done it again. Oh, the genetic ecstasy. What are we even watching right now? No. By stimulating the DNA correlating to high leg strength through imagination, it caused a slight transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. We can do anything in this simulation world. There are no limits. What a wonderful world. I guess things worked out. He's crazy. So every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky? You want to join? Hell no. We only made that much progress? Wow. You have five minutes left. Okay, so now we gotta activate this dude, because he doesn't have any power. power. Activate it. <laughs> Feel him up! This stone statue is a racer. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split-second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving, too. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. Using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Anyway. Let's head back to the central room. Okay. Super reaction by the person trapped by blank, sixth, no seventh sense. They who traverse blank experience it. Okay. Do we go in through this door? This door is open. I wonder if we can go to the central room. Let's go find out. We're here. Looks like we can open it cool. from this side now. Um, so back to the computer then. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain. Maybe function. training to take zero G. Ah, oh, that a car good from point. earlier. And what to do about the trap? What do you think fits best? Uh racer for car. Please select right. Archaeologist? Left. Racer, right. Archaeologist selected. Starting experiment. What? There's one NA though, so there might be another statue that we're missing a function for. Experiment successful. Combined, a racer's driving skill and an archaeologist's knack for dodging traps to gain movie protagonist superhuman driving skills. Guess it's time for love, Dr. Jones. That should help us dodge any traps. That's so antiquated. Nowadays, sports cars go up against nuclear submarines. <laughs> Fast and Furious! Oh well, this is Shakara's preference. Now let's go back to the room with the car. Think we can get there from the passage we came from? Yeah, that should lead you there directly. 20 eyeballs gained. Ooh, Iba time! What should I do to relax? Aero yoga, yangar yoga, field yoga, hot yoga. To relax? I'd say Ariel? I'm crazy? Okay. <laughs> wow. Because I don't know 
What the heck is field yoga? Is field yoga just regular yoga? We can go through. I don't know what Yengar yoga is, and hot yoga is not relaxing. All right, get in. I'll avoid any traps with elegance and grace. Jelly, you have six minutes. <laughs> Planet Namek will blow up in five minutes. Takes three to four freaking episodes to blow what? up. What? Oh, oh! I don't want to actually do this. I'm not actually doing this. Thank the Lord. Pass the trap. I could have done this on my own. Ooh. Tama, behind you. Huh? Oh my word. I'm so glad I'm not controlling this. No, I can't do this. Hey, Tama, the road. What about the road? What about the road? There is no road. <laughs> there is no speed. Step on it. On what? The gas! The gas! The gas! Okay! Accelerate yourself super fast so that you can make the jump! Yeah! They did that on Spice Girls! Jelly, ooh, eyeball. I need to find a hidden eyeball! I haven't found one! Yeah, yeah, happy to Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Colossum is here represented by a treacherous ancient ruin. A theory that links this complex and bizarre passage is now complete. But this should be theoretically impossible. No, there is no impossible in this world. <clears throat> oh, this is not good. Not good indeed. Kara, ew! Why don't you think of it as some kind of reward cutscene? The fact that I have to force myself to think that already makes it not a reward. It is not a reward. Four minutes now. I have not found an eyeball. Let's turn it on. Got it. Stroke his willy! Activate a gambler's stone statue? Okay. That was meant to lock two. Activate their stone statue. This stone statue is a gambler. I guess that means they have guts. So this gambler is known for winning bets when the chips are down. That must mean they can win the big ones without flinching. Now let's head back to the central room. Don't look for it, blank. You can get a blank. Can be blank by any person. They didn't show us what that last, um, sentence through. completion thing was. Doesn't matter now that we solved it, though. Mm. Eyeball! Is this...? Yes! No. Ah! It's me, Chikara. What the hell? This is no good. No good. No good at all! Yes, yes. Now, let's test this. Chicago's right brain, free selection. The heck? Okay. What, what's happening? The room flew away. The experiment worked. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kara, oh, this oh, right yeah. brain reselection is a function that blows away my past. The past I don't want anyone to see. My right brain can be shuffled back into the deck. No! Goodbye, forbidden memory. What are we gonna do? 
When we drove through the passageway, Chikara said, theoretically impossible and not good. So maybe we did something he wasn't expecting. If we used the device to combine two different brain functions, we might be able to find a way. If we could prevent Chikara from using his right brain reselection thing, we might be able to make it to the room. He said something about a memory he doesn't want to be seen. That was so weird. Okay, so half the room is gone. Yeah, but how will we stop Chikara? There was something that guitar, in though. We were in <laughs> Epic. If only we could pull it back somehow. We need a big idea here. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. Uh, fisherman to cast Please it back. Please select right brain function. Gambler for the high chance of fishing it back. Left, fish right. Starting experiment. Oh, right. Experiment successful. Combined, a tuna fisherman's pulling skill and a gambler's ability to make the right choice to obtain superhuman luck. I wish I had superhuman luck. Luck. Is this gonna do anything? Well, try it. Let's fish back the room that flew away. How's it going? I think I got something. That must be it. Reel it in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You don't look happy. I want to leave behind has already been shuffled. Huh? Already been shuffled? Ugh, this member is no good either. I thought I deleted it. Oh. No. If you succeed with the eternal youth experiment, my memory will Posture be. Pasha check. Discovered. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the hugs! <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! Jikara's memory was replaced with something else. But it got replaced with another memory he didn't want seen. It might be worth looking into. Jikara said that if the Eternal Youth Experiment is successful, his memory will be discovered. So if we complete the research on that device... We might be able to defeat Instant Death Power Stance Man over there and get into the room he's guarding. Okay, so we gotta activate that one. Ew! That stone statue is a little different. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. That stone statue has... Chikara's face hastily slapped on. Chikara said that using Purge, he can create an ageless and undying body. But if we use the stone statue... Turn it on. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing this face... Sure Touches junk. We've invested too much already. There's no other way. Fine, okay. Okay, activate a Chikara stone statue. Uncover Chikara's secret. Oh, you didn't want to touch the crotch because of Chikara's face, huh? My theory is almost complete. The creator of a man who blank is blank. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. The creator of a man who does not age is me. It would be nice to create eternal youth in life. And something that will let us get rid of instant death power stance man over there. Beginning experiment. Wouldn't it be nothing because you just want to be Chikara Please himself? Select. Yeah, Chikara. Left, right, start. Error. Error? It's an error. I guess an A isn't a job. I wonder what it's for. Okay. A person who Another f beginning. <sighs> mm, leg strength, fish anything in. Racer. Avoid traps. So let's do racer and. 
cutter? Left, right, start. Uh, Expert. Successful. Combined. Erasers' accurate sense of time and Chikara's genetic Junky engineering toast. Stone's knowledge. actually more like stone junk. You keep rubbing it in. Yeah, the blanks are optional. The psalm names in I Nirvana are geared towards giving you intel if you can guess, investigate some options that might not be correct. Oh, so if you get it wrong too much, then they'll be like, hey, here's how to nudge you in the right direction. To create a brain that accurately counts 10 seconds. Wow. Let's try, Tama. Yes and no? Oh, Don't okay. You dare waste 10 seconds on something that stupid. <laughs> You only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Really? Gosh darn it. Ugh. Um. Uh. Uh. How do I? Do I need a debugger then? A person who is most. Another function. Beginning. Racer. Lisa. Debugger? Left. Right. Start. Uh. Combined. A racer's steering skills and a debugger's bug finding skills to allow you to turn surprising things. Turn surprising things? What the? What could that mean? Maybe a path opened up somewhere? If we have time to spare, <gasps> it might be worth checking. If I run out of time on this, I'm gonna retry. I'm the last checkpoint. Huh? What happened? There's something fishy about this score. How so? What if I do this? What? What the hell? This door was the bug. The activation requirement was the racer's steering skills. Anyway, let's keep going. Eyeball! What? Um. Are you sure we can write it? It's all good. I hope it's safe. Set sail! What? Hey, wait! Ride this? What are you thinking? There's so much water in your brain, we can use you for ballast. Ah, oh, that's a good one. You're funny, Tama. I'm going to chant Buddhist mantras in your eye socket every night. Thanks. That should put me right to sleep. So I'm guessing there's a right brain function that I'm missing. Or no, the NA. We can go through. Because it's still NA, right? Yeah, then I'm missing a statue. Um. Okay, so that one doesn't have a steering wheel door, but if I want to power the boat, then I think I need fishermen. A person. Another beacon. I think I need fishermen Please. and... Let's try shaman. Left, right, start. Too much staring at her feet. I think this one gave me trouble, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, that sounds not so active at all. Combined, a fisherman's navigating skills and a shaman's mysterious powers to no longer encounter danger while navigating the sea. Oh, that's a relief. If we ever end up on the open seas. Okay. I only have 64 seconds left! We can go... You have a minute left. Yeah, it's because I touched a stupid dude. Set sail. Yay. Oh, you made it. Uh, you touched a stupid dude's junk. I did. He wasted my time. A sea venture with a fisherman's navigation skills and a shaman's. Shamaning skills? Chikara really has a wild imagination. Oh, it's just another eyeball! 
We can go. Damn it. Then what am I missing? What? Would it be a debugger? No, but I. F ah, power stance, man! Uh, I'm not even getting any like person who's uh, another function that'll allow us beginning. Uh, JT going after the D will ultimately be her downfall. <laughs> uh, I don't want to use a walkthrough, but I think I might have to use a walkthrough. Because I don't think there are any other stone statues anymore. I think I've been to every single room because, yeah, the first room on the left was the, um, was the first stone statue. And then two extra rooms were each eyeball. And then the two rooms on top were two more statues that got me Gambler and... Uh, was it Racer? Yeah. So, I can look it up for you really quickly. Yes, please, Kirby, because I don't want to accidentally spoil myself on stuff. I'm cheating! Mental lock four, right? Yes. I just need to know how to get through instant death power stance, man. Head back to the robot arm control position. We'll need to select Masai Warrior left side and Chikara for right side to create an undying and ageless warrior version of Tama. Wow. Cool. Please select left, right, start. Uh, thank you, Kirby. I wouldn't have thought Masai Warrior, but I guess it makes sense because he wants to be like. Successful. He wants to be himself, but he wants to be super strong. Combined, a Masai Warrior's battle skill and Chikara's genetic engineering knowledge to create an undying and unaging warrior. Funny that the machine is on a first name basis with Chikara. Now we can finally beat up instant death power stance, man. I feel bad for this announcement's VA. All right, Why? let's go. Probably had to voice every single combination of these. Oh yeah. Ryuki, less than 30 seconds left. But they got paid a lot for it. Go, Tama. Let's go. <laughs> we did it! The experiment worked! Oh, happy, happy, happy. Why should humans die? What a waste it is to perish. The research results are splendid. But now is not the time. Not now. Not now. If Chikara gets in our way again, no amount of time is enough time. Let's go. Do I have enough time? I might not have enough time. Yeah, this is 20 seconds. The statue is Jakar's memory that he doesn't want to be seen. Turn it on. <laughs> That's how I'm going to, to mess with the guy. I'm just going to go like... <laughs> Stone statue. Nine. Nine in Roman numerals. Also, Duke and Tama, too. Oh, yeah. What is the significance of nine? Maybe he has nine mistresses. Or maybe he's being sued by nine people. The stone statue. Maybe we use a brain function again. Should we go back to the central device? Let's do it. Oh, shoot. I have to retry. You're I don't out have of time. Damn it. Okay. Um. Ooh, which um I'll start from damn it I think mental lock three yeah damn it 
Don't run into that stupid dude. I'll still go back to get the two eyeballs. But, uh, don't touch the dude. Feck. Fracking crack. I forget if you keep the eyeballs from retrying or not. Uh. Creator of man who transcends death is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I play with you again? What martial art are you good at? Uh, Sistema? Huh? Muay Thai? Capoeira? Or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? None of them! Although... The one that I actually tried with a friend was Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so... So jealous, E. I'm not good at ground holds, E. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Um. Yeah, I don't think I got them because the doors are still closed, so. And what? And beginning. Uh, I need a. It was a racer. Please. And it was a debugger. Let rest. If. I don't see the eyeball in this one turn, then then um I'm not gonna try to go to the other room. Huh? What happened? How? No more playing with men. <laughs> but won't they like it, you know, if I just go like this? <laughs> I do keep the eyeballs. Yeah, okay. So I could just move ahead with the with the actual combination. The person another beacon. So with Masai Please. Warrior and Chikara. Quick, Regal, make a gif of Jelly doing that. <laughs> Come by, Ch Okay. Beat the suit up. Go, Tama. I can skip it. This stone's turning up. You only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Going back. We can go through here. What did I have to do? <laughs> go back here? Did you decide what two brain functions you will combine? Yeah. This should do it. Beginning experiment. Please select left. What was what was the question? <laughs> uh, is it NA? Please select right brain function. Nine. Left. Right. Start this again. Oh. What? Why? Who are you? Experiment successful. Nike set laws. laws. Why is that nice. so familiar? Nice. Egoism, woo! Nice at laws showed up in the first game, too.
Welcome. What? I am the president of the Japanese Nice at Laws branch, Tokiko Shigure. I apologize for visiting so late at night. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Mr. Ryuki, is it? Mamaru, my secretary, has already informed me. I hear you've come to ask about Jin Furaway's murder. This is the president's office on the top floor of the building containing the Japanese branch of Nice at Laws, commonly known as Nice. When I sang to Chikara earlier, Tama and I saw something in his Somnium. Someone who looked like they were in Nice making the Bats 490 video. And that's why we ended up here. We came to the president's office to talk to the top level of Nice. Um. It's been about two hours, so you know what? I think I'm gonna end this here. So I don't want to go too over. Okay. Hmm. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go to bonus. Save and open up bonus. Data is saved. Is it familiar? It is! Outfits. It takes 700 to unlock this? Yuki outfit. Cat ears. Good choice. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Dream album. Um. Ew! What? <laughs> 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 it's Tama doing that weird Chikara pose. Ooh. That's the scientist. Okay, since I have um a lot of points left, I might as well just buy this then. Show me too. And then Have a good night. Thanks for joining, Smooth. Have a good night. I'm going to, um... Uh... Which one is it? Nice. Yeah. I'm just gonna load this up so I can, um, change Tama into an outfit. And then call it a night. <laughs> I thought of my tier 2 emote. I'm gonna make it something related to Boba. Although how, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it. Let's change Tama's outfit. About the whole nice thing. Dress up. Costumes are now available for previously cleared scenes. Uh, Dookie Chapter, Nefarious Institute. Okay. Cosplay is good. Give me them cat ears. Meow meow. Ooh, meow meow. Yeah, looks good. Meow meow. Uh, Dookie Slows. Mm, pants aren't bad either. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. Cool. I could change your body? You don't have a costume for this category. You can get costumes in the bonus menu. Okay, so I guess it's a full body outfit then. Okay. I can inspect closer. Pose! Pose! I can rotate her. Whoa! Pose! Zoom! <laughs> Pose! <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. I don't need advice, bye! Okay, now I save again because I changed her outfit. Save current game. Yes. Data save, cool. Okay. Alright, so that's gonna be it for me tonight. Um, I'll try to stream another time this week, but not tomorrow because I have plans. But, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty, have a good night, uh, eat some food, and bye! <laughs>